Hi, my friends. Well, it was raining all weekend, so I didn't get out shooting, but uh, I'm going to string up my Crim Tartar bow from Flagella D, and we're going to get started. So, first of all, we've got to string up our bow, so step through the bow, put the siha on your ankle, put the middle of the bow right on your leg, press forward, lift it up, Put it in place, just check it's there, and that's how you string a bow like this. Just lift it up into place. Okay, now also, before we get started, this particular bow, I always wax it before I start every time. And I wax it good too. I mean, I put on a lot of wax and I wax up here where it slides on the siha. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Now a bow like this really slaps your hand. It has a lot more vibration than a English longbow. That's just part of it. But um, anyhow, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get the wax in here and we're going to do some shooting. Now I hear a lot of stuff about different styles of shooting. You know there's like uh, some people call it double clutching and see it as a bad thing. Well, double clutching or as uh, Horace Ford would say the pause is not a bad thing. You know the idea is uh, just to to reach out and you pause in front of your face and that's where he would line up and then come all the way back now that's a valid thing to do if Horace Ford could do it we can do it the big problem with with pausing or double clutching is still getting it all the way back when you pause out here and you correct there's a tendency not to really come back so Getting it all the way back is extremely important no, what, no matter what style, okay? So that's double clutching. Uh, the main thing that we're going to do today though is simply, we're just simply going to draw until that arrow appears straight on that line. We're going to relax, let it fall in place, and we'll be back there. Now, if you draw all the way back in the beginning, you're already back. You don't have to worry about making sure you get it back right because Horace said that most people miss because from the point where they aim until they get back they move okay so the advantage again of drawing all the way back is that you're already there now you just let it relax and fall in place anyhow we'll get into this uh, a little deeper now so let's go do some shooting and have some fun well boys uh, you want to be a Viking do you what an occupation. There's a few ways of uh, judging distance. Now one way is that you get boys and you get a bundle of rocks. You get the boys to go out before the battle and at 50 yards they put a little staff pile of rocks at 100 yards a pile of rocks at 75 yards a pile of rocks and 150 yards a pile of rocks at 125 a pile of rocks get it and uh, that way when the enemy are attacking the sergeant in arms can see when they've passed 150 yards. You can see when they pass 125, 100, just by looking at the rocks and where they are. So that's one way of telling distance. Okay. Another thing that you can do is have a board or even just holding a stick at arm's length. So you get a guy who's let's say 5'10 to walk out 50 yards. 
and you take a mark and you mark him at that height then you get the guy to go out you know 100 yards make a mark 125 yards make a mark 150 yards make a mark when the enemy are coming you hold up the stick the sergeant at arms holds up the stick and if a man is between say these two dots you can tell that they're at 150 yards or uh, these two dots you can tell he's at 100 yards then the sergeant at arms simply holds up his staff to a, uh, a known height the archers can look sideways and see that he's holding it up on that angle and they'll fire at that angle and they can drop their arrows in on the enemy at 150 yards or uh, you know 100 yards 75 yards whatever so that's one way in which we can uh, tell the distance of the enemy and knock them off their horses. And uh, when you do that kind of stuff, and you get lucky, you'll, you'll get some hits. Okay? So that's how we can tell distance of the enemy. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Thank you, Mother Nature, for this beautiful day here on Earth and the life to enjoy it. There's a lot of goofs and assholes on YouTube. And there's a lot of goofs and assholes that watch YouTube. They've all got an opinion, whether right or wrong. And I'll defend their right to be wrong. Just because you're an asshole doesn't mean you're a cunt. These bows will slap you pretty good. There's a lot of weight in the Siha because of the vibration. I find that this guy slaps my hand down here. Anyhow, it had a, uh, a lace leather grip on it. And that lace was biting my hand. So I took it off and put on my own. And uh, it's a lot smoother and feels a lot better when I shoot. But anyhow, that's some of the stuff that I do. You know, I'm always fooling around with my bows and stuff like that. And uh, anyhow, when you do that and you let assholes know that they're assholes, you get some hits. And for all you guys that are my fans and enjoy this kind of shooting, welcome aboard, my boys. Be back in a minute. Okay, boys. We're going Viking. Yes, we're going Viking. You ever hear of Charlemagne? The great King Charlemagne? You know, the great King Charlemagne gives me a pain. Charlemagne sent his troops into Saxony and cut the heads off 4,500 of our brothers. The Saxons are our brothers. Then he took their women and children back to the land of the Franks. Okay. So that's what Charlemagne did. Cut the heads off 4,500 guys, pagans. So what we're going to do is we're going down to Lindisfarne. They have a rich monastery there. 
we're going to burn it and pillage it. We're going to take the monks as slaves and we're going to bumfuck the rest. Charlemagne has to be stopped. This murdering, these Christians murdering people, simple peasants, it's not good enough. So we're going to Lindisfarne, boys. Now, when you're fully trained, you'll be able to hit the body of a monk or a priest or a Christian just like that. Hang around, boys. It's going to get better. Okay, guys. You know, not all our enemies are assholes like Charlemagne. In Essex, we fought Alfred. He was a decent man, Anglo-Saxon. Saxons are okay. Can get along with them. They're not that different. My Lord Guthrum, he made a deal with Alfred. The Anglos had us held up in a fort. We're starving. So Alfred gave us the chance of having our own land. And uh, all his Lord Guthrum had to do was become a Christian. So we did. When Guthrum got back to the our own land there, around Kent. He took off the cross and put on the hammer. That's the way it goes. But we got our land and we made peace with Alfred and the peace has lasted a long time and been good for everybody. So it was okay. Anyhow, that's a little bit of what happened when we're fighting with Alfred. And when you do that kind of stuff, you can still get some hits. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, so my shaman just sent me some messages from the cliff. Spoke signals. He says that I should not go into a Berserker rage, it frightens people. That I should just train you who to kill. Anyhow, that's what we'll do. I take a little back step. And we're doing no kind of anchor or pause. We're simply going all the way back. And that's when we aim from the all the way back. If your arm is this long, that's where it goes. Not here. Any kind of a anchor is a short draw. The only anchor is your elbow. Do not touch your face or any of those kinds of things. If you hold the tip on, right on the center line, and let your right side relax, the bow will point you at the target. 
You don't have to aim. You don't have to aim. The bow will aim. You just have to make sure it's on. Okay, so that's what we're doing. You know, see, I'm pointing that arrow straight at the target. It's not going to hit the target. Any kind of anchoring and twisting does not hit the target. The only thing that hits the target is when you're drawn all the way out, the tip is on, you relax this arm and it will just fall in behind. Now you can look and see where it's pointing. That's the secret. Do not aim. Hold the tip on and let this relax and the bow will straighten you out and you will hit the target. Any kind of trying to aim and, you know, a little more canting and a little more head, and a little more knee, it's all horse shit. All those things are ways of getting onto the target, but they're not going to hit the target. The only thing that hits the target is the pressure in your arms. Hold the tip on. Get it all the way back. Let this right arm relax. It will fall in behind the front. Make sure it's pointing at the target, that's all. All this trying is uh, how we miss. And uh, when you do that, you'll get some hits. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys. I tell you, I'm on the war path today. Whatever got into me. But I'm real sick of fucking Charlemagne's type of person. These fucking Christian idiots. All these religious fucking God believers. Do you know that more people have been murdered in the name of religion than any other fucking reason in history? And I'm supposed to think it's good? Religion has killed almost as many people as infection. I'm supposed to think it's good? That was good. Murdering people in the name of God. Fuck off. That was good. Religion stinks. You know, religion could be a beautiful thing, except God does not exist. Religion is horseshit. Buddhists. You know, they don't have a God, so they're not too bad. And ritual kind of makes people feel comfortable. And there's all this kind of side to it, you know. And in the old days, before we had books or anything, religion passed down the wise words to young people so that they knew what to do. Because there was no books, there was no computers, there was no way of learning anything other than your ancestors or your mother and father taught you. Okay? But when the Nazis killed Jews, the Nazis aren't Nazis, they're fucking Christians. When the Shiite kill Shia, they're killing their own brothers. I'm supposed to respect that? Fucking nonsense. So guys like Charlemagne are going to go. And we're going to go back to being peaceful people who love Mother Nature. And anyhow, that's how I feel today about religion. And when you do that kind of stuff and you're kind of pissed off, well, you can hit the target just fine. I'll be back in a minute, boys. We'll have some more fun. <laughs>